Hey there folks, I'm working today on a little building project and I wanted to show you what's going on over here. So this here is the concrete pathway which leads towards our house. This is the east side or the eastern facade the eastern side of the house and when we poured that concrete path along with the concrete base for the fence our time and money and shuttering materials uh, were limited so we were not able to continue that on the north and the west side as well So I'm trying to continue that project now, but do it in smaller steps so I can mix the concrete by hand and not call one of those large mixers, which uh, bring uh, five or 10 cubic meters of concrete and I need way less for this project here. And uh, the first phase is continuing this path uh, a meter and a half more in that direction so I can then make the turn onto the north side of the house and continue this way you can see here where the previous concrete pour ended it's a crushed gravel base at the bottom and we want to have a step here so change of level go down 15 or 16 centimeters and then down here another change of level and then a sloping ramp towards the lower level which is down there you can see how you can see the the slope here by the height of the exposed base of the house so we want a concrete ramp going up this way step up and then another step up and then I'll make small uh, metal ramps for a wheelbarrow to, so I can take the turn upwards and you can see that I have already started today a bit early last night it was minus five so the ground is now frozen at the, the surface which is good because otherwise it was very muddy after the snow melted and now the soil is still frozen you can see the crystals here and the and the stones undersides and i have already made that thing level and solid it won't move and now what i'm trying to do is measure and level a piece here this piece of shuttering those old scrap pieces which we gathered from uh, house building projects around the village and then i'll have to do another one here but first i'll have to remove this uh, 40 kilo concrete paver so i can do the shuttering then i'll have to cut that in half so it can finish here and after the concrete is set after we pour that uh, maybe next week after the holidays I'll do another paver here at the lower level, so it will be a step here as well. And uh, that's the task I'll try to accomplish today. I have prepared some of the offcuts of the tiles, which came from uh, our second bathroom, which we are doing currently. So I'll be crushing those and uh, putting them as base level here. And on top of that, some river gravel, which is the main content of the concrete which will be pouring. So uh, it will bind nicely with the base. And also by walking on it, we'll compress it somewhat. You can see that uh, the ground here has already been pounded. I uh, pounded it with uh, a piece of the 
uh, concrete pavers and uh, those places where it sunk was uh, like here and here was where I pulled some of the rocks out of like those rocks and some of those pieces so I have to do a relatively level base and then in the coming days I have to drive some rebar down towards the already poured concrete so we can tie the two pieces together use some rebar mesh here and then I'm ready to start mixing and pouring concrete but that uh, will be a topic of another video for now I have to start measuring and making those support for this side and this side as well So I'm done for today, it took me longer than expected because several people passed, to, passed on the street to have a word and also my main problem is that all the materials I use are scrap or junk basically so for everything that I use I can't use like uh, proper trimmed lengths and uh, same size everything every piece of wood is scrap wood here but it's very very sturdy and uh, even though it's now minus five i wanted to finish first the day with the shuttering here it was even easier because there's already a soil uh, level here so I just put a few stones behind this plank and it turned out to be very solid now I have to drive some rebar down down there so when I pour the concrete the two swaps will be connected and I have already prepared some piece some scrap pieces which of course I took from a junkyard and then I need uh, some of those metal spacers and a layer of uh, mesh which will be put on top so the mesh doesn't uh, get stuck to the bottom of, the, uh, of this space but it sits in the middle of the concrete. The average depth which I'll be pouring is uh, 12 to 15 centimeters and I need the uh, rebar mesh to be here and I'll probably be using the similar thing that is used here for the fence line I just have to ask the neighbors if they have some scrap piece some, somewhere laying around and I'll be ready to get materials and start mixing and start pouring this tiny slab of 
maybe two square meters so that was all for today folks while i was working here outside my mother started preparing some uh, condiments for the christmas stolen but i hope that uh, i can uh, that she left some stuff unfinished so i can film it so i can make tomorrow's video see you then